Then we have Nicholas Mata taking on Tom Nolan. Tom Nolan's a long guy. He's a lean striker. His frame is almost identical to Corey Sandhagen. When I was breaking down tape, he has that same sort of like lurchy back. I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to be rude. Like his back curves and he like has that hunch and he moves around. It's very, very similar to how Corey Sandhagen fights and looks. His striking is much better than Corey Sandhagen's. It's Nets level. He's accurate. He's technical. He has no problem getting into a brawl despite how good he is technically. He's got a solid clinch as well. And when you break down tape, you're going to see him eat more than one overhand right. That's not great, but he just eats them. He does have a very solid chin. He just keeps moving forward with lots of pressure, lots of volume, tons of power. Takedown defense, not very good though. He's taking on Nicholas Mata. This guy's a very good striker himself. He's explosive. He's athletic. He moves well with his speed and diversity. He has solid takedown defense at 82% and that allows him to get loose with the striking. He does a very good job of being patient and then pouring it on when he sees his opportunity. He's coming off that early submission loss to Trey Ogden, which was then overturned because it was clear the referee made a mistake there. This is one of two fights on the card that I don't have odds for just yet. So I'm just going to imagine what those odds are going to be. Mata is a UFC vet. He has a handful of quality wins, but Nolan is definitely going to be the better striker here. He does have some grappling holes, but I don't think that matters. I like Nolan the win. Trey Ogden was completely outstriking Mata. And if Trey Ogden is outstriking Mata, Tom Nolan is going to do. He's 50 times the striker that Trey Ogden is. Nolan's going to be the pick. I don't know what these odds are going to be, but if we're if if we're somehow lucky enough and the Christmas powers of this shirt gets us underdog money on Tom Nolan, I'm going to be all over that. Even if he's minus 150, I will probably touch that. I think Tom Nolan wins this fight. I think he's just going to be the much, much better striker. And based off of Nicholas Mata's last performance, things are not going to go well for him. So Tom Nolan, the very confident pick. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and comment on a giveaway video. We are giving away $1,000. The only thing you need to do is subscribe to two YouTube channels and comment on a video and you can win $1,000. All the links to do that are below. Make sure you leave your comment because that is how we're going to pick the winner. We're going to use a random comment grabber to grab a comment. That's the winner. But in order to win, you need to subscribe to We Want Picks, subscribe to Picks Nation, and we need to hit 10,000 subscribers right here on Picks Nation.